Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl from Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another free pick video, or falling out here on the channel. Uh, we've got some college basketball to talk to you guys. Uh, I got a game in the CBI, uh, I got a game in the NIT, and three games in round two of the bracket. Before we jump into it, if you guys are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share. If you guys are interested in all of our plays, you guys can go ahead and check that out. One week pass, $70. 200 bucks for the month. You guys can get that with either college basketball or NBA, both of them under the link picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. We'll start off with the little games. Uh, CBI going on. This one's an 11 a.m. game. Eastern Kentucky and uh, Cleveland State. Uh, Cleveland State's a one-point favorite, total of 148 in this game. I looked at the two sides, and uh, not really much difference between these two teams except for we look at it. Cleveland uh, Eastern Kentucky was twenty-one and thirteen this year. They were sixteen and sixteen against the spread. Um, no, sorry, Cleveland State was sixteen and sixteen against the spread. Uh, Eastern Kentucky was nineteen ten and one. But I feel like uh, Cleveland State's getting a little bit disrespected in this one. I like them to win this one. Uh, you get you, you got to keep in mind with the CBI. These teams are they have to pay in order to play in this tournament. So these teams are going to take this one seriously. Cleveland State had a really good year. Uh, so did Eastern Kentucky. But I'm going to give the upper hand to the Vikings in this one. We'll take Cleveland State on the money line. We'll head over to the NIT. This one's not on a neutral court. Keep that one in mind. UCF heads to Oregon to take on the Ducks. Oregon's a three-and-a-half point favorite. 137-and-a-half is the total. Um I'm going to say screw the points, and uh, I'm taking UCF outright. Um, you look at it, this is a UCF team that I think really wants to be in this tournament. Uh, they had a good year once they got everybody healthy, and this is an Oregon team that probably was a little I – know, I know they won their first game um, in the NIT, and that one was against UCI. UCI wasn't all that good of a team. I think UCF is going to give them all they can handle. We'll take a little bit of plus money with that one, plus the one – 65. Let's head to the bracket. Kentucky and Kansas State will be the first game we talk about. Kentucky is a two and a half point favorite. 144 and a half is the total. And uh, you get a six seed that is a favorite over a three seed. Yeah, it's that way for a reason. Give me Kentucky minus the two and a half. I think they win this one by margin. This is a Kentucky team that I think is a dark horse. We had them versus Providence. We're going to have them in this game as well. I think they're going to be able to take care of business against Kansas State. And um, you never know. They have a, they, their, their side of the bracket's not, not terrible when you look at it. Uh, I believe they would get the winner of Michigan State and Marquette. So you never know with that one. And speaking of those two teams, we'll look at it. Michigan State Sparty Party. And uh, we get Marquette. Marquette's a two-and-a-half point favorite. 139-and-a-half is the total. And uh, you already know. You get a two versus a seven, and it's only a two and a half. It just seems like a little bit too short of a line. I know Lenny's Lenny's probably dancing all around. We're taking some Sparty Party to make it to the Sweet 16. Money line plus 130. You're telling me that a the number two seed only has to win by three? Um, when, when we've seen a bunch of upsets already and teams get – some of the high teams, uh, high teams got bounced already. You got Purdue who got bounced. You got Arizona bounced in the first round. Kansas lost today. Um, there was the other another one seed, Kansas, and uh, oh, Houston's getting all they can handle right now. You're getting a lot of upsets right now. Give me Michigan State money line plus the one thirty. We'll head to the final game where we get Creighton and Baylor, and this is another very similar situation because Baylor is a one-and-a-half-point favorite, a uh, total of 144-and-a-half, and it's this close of a spread. I thought Baylor was supposed to be fantastic. Give me Creighton. Uh, we saw Creighton have a good game versus NC State. Baylor, they they had a – that game was not as much of a blowout as, as it looked. Uh, I know they won by, like, 20-plus. Uh, that game was close for a while, and then they pulled away. I think Creighton's going to be able to get the upper hand in this one. Let's take some uh, – Let's take some Creighton to make it to the Sweet 16 as well. Those are your five free picks in college basketball. Once again, Cleveland State, UCF, uh, Kentucky, MSU, and Creighton. If you guys want the rest of the plays, 
right there, picksandparleys.net forward slash Tim for all of the college basketball plays. And until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in college basketball. Good luck.